didn't record. Here we go. Okay, so this is lesson 1103, Life, Water, Air, and Land. And we're reading about the Grand Canyon and how the four spheres of Earth interact. Geosphere, the biosphere, the hydrosphere, and the atmosphere all interact in different ways. Sometimes they make a canyon and sometimes they do something totally different. Let's find out more. Earth is a system. A system is a group of connected parts that work together to form a whole. Earth is a huge system that's made up of many interacting systems, land, water, organisms, and air. Specifically, these interacting systems are the geosphere. That means the whole world. The geo is the world. The hydrosphere, the biosphere, and the atmosphere. All of these systems interact with each other to make Earth a place where life can exist. A system can be as small as this terrarium with this tiny hedgehog in it, or as big as Earth. Check it out. Let's learn more about the different systems. The geosphere means Earth. Geosphere contains solid and molten or melted rock, soil, sediment, mountains, and continents. And this, um, I think, is actually Mauna Loa or Mauna Kea on the island of Hawaii erupting right here. Atmosphere means air or vapor, atmo. The atmosphere is the layer of gases surrounding Earth. It contains a mixture of gases, including nitrogen, oxygen, argon, and carbon dioxide. Did you know you're breathing those things? <laughs> yes, Javen. You knew that? Um. So what assignment is this again? 1103. 1103. It's right there. Life, water, air, and land. Now that you know the different systems of Earth. Oh, we didn't finish. Let's finish. The hydrosphere is the water. We've talked about it a lot with the water cycle. And finally, the biosphere means life on Earth, all living things, plants and animals. Now that you know the different systems of the Earth, you can practice identifying examples of biosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and geosphere in this next activity. Hmm, what, which of Earth's systems does this each object belong to? Each object, ah. Well, a person is, what? Is it a rock? Is it the air? <laughs> Which sphere, guys? Biosphere. Biosphere, all living things. What else goes in my biosphere? What else up there is living? Bird. The bird, what else? Fish. The fish. Anything else? How about the tree? Turtle. There's no turtle, it's dirt. There is. There's no turtle, it's dirt. <laughs> what is that? Let's That's look at dirt. Oh, oh, I thought, I, thought like tree. I thought tree was geosphere. Nope, the tree is alive. It's the biosphere. So let's talk about the geosphere now. These are the rocky kind of things. So here's a rock in the geosphere. What else? How about this dirt? Sand? Yep, sand goes in the geosphere. All right, let's talk about the atmosphere. What's in the air? Oxygen. Oxygen. Good. And how about carbon dioxide? Yes. Did you know the funny thing about us and plants is we breathe in oxygen. We exhale carbon dioxide. Plants breathe in carbon dioxide. They exhale oxygen, not through their lungs, but through their leaves. So we have a, a symbiotic relationship with plants. The last things up here, what are those all part of? didn't want to go in there. Hydrosphere, right? Water, wave. I think that's a wave. And clouds. Yay. Did we get a, we didn't get a congratulations. Man, I like congratulations. This one sucks because it didn't congratulate us. I know that's sad, isn't it? Oh, maybe if I click. Hooray, we got our celebration. I like, my, I like my celebrations. Here we go. Interconnected systems. The four spheres of Earth are interconnected. This means that they work together and influence each other so that life can exist on Earth. Let's see how the different systems help one another in this next activity. Select each marker to learn more about the interactions of each sphere. All right, so the hydrosphere. The hydrosphere shapes the land. So the waves splash against the land. The, the um, rivers uh, erode the land. So the hydrosphere is shaping the geosphere. The hydrosphere also has a big impact on weather conditions in the atmosphere. The hydrosphere moves water and heat through the atmosphere, which can change it. Cool. Well, let's see about the geosphere. How, does the, how do rocks interact? 
the interaction of the geosphere with water and organisms that are no longer living products produces soil. High elevations, such as tall mountains, block rain or precipitation from reaching some locations, affecting weather, so they affect the hydrosphere. And the kind of rocks or soil you have affects what can grow in a particular area, so they're affecting the biosphere. How about the atmosphere? What does it do? It protects life on Earth in the biosphere, of course, by keeping some of the harmful ultraviolet rays out, allowing other light in to warm the Earth. It's responsible for all the weather that feeds all the plants, and it also helps clean the air that we breathe. All right, how about the biosphere, living things? It cannot exist without all the other systems. Plants and animals need the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. They need water from the hydrosphere, and they need a place to live and grow in the geosphere. Cool. All right, let's see. Did you know there's a sphere of Earth just for frozen water? Yes, there's another sphere of Earth that includes all of the frozen water. It's called the cryosphere. The cryosphere includes all the snow and ice on land, including ice caps, glaciers, and snow. The cryosphere also includes all the ice floating on the water, like icebergs in the ocean. Hmm, interesting. Interesting sphere. We didn't have that one in our jar. It's time to show out how much you've learned about the different spheres. Well, we just did show that off. Describe what each system is. All right, well, we just went through this. The biosphere is all living things. Biology is the study of life. All living things, plants and animals. The hydrosphere is the water. It affects the weather. It erodes the land. It feeds the plants. The atmosphere is the air you breathe. And the geosphere is the rock and we all stand on it. Plants use the minerals in the soil. La, 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 la. Modeling systems of the earth. So here we get to making our model or our little terrarium. So if you have your terrarium nearby, take a look at it. See if there's any critters in there. Mine had a worm in it. Scientists create models to help them understand things better. The spheres of the earth might be better understood if you created a model. A model can be used to describe the interaction between the biosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and geosphere. Let's take a look. Okay, so here's all our spheres. Model can show that interactions occur. Let's look at an example in this next activity. You can practice describing the different interactions between the four spheres using the image as a model. Answer the questions that follow in your science notebook. In your science notebook, describe the interactions between the geosphere and the biosphere. The one thing with this thing is like for three pages, they do the same thing over and over again. I think we kind of already did that. Let's skip ahead. How do the geosphere and the biosphere interact? Well, here is a Gila monster or some sort of monitor lizard on a rock. So there you go. There you have it. <laughs> How do the hydrosphere, the clouds, and the atmosphere interact? Well... The hydrosphere has a big impact on the weather conditions in the atmosphere. Okay, these are just the same questions again about how all the different systems interact. And then we come to page six. Is this the one where we build our model? Create a terrarium. So if you want to make a terrarium, here are your directions. In this activity, you will create a terrarium to model the different systems or spheres of Earth. You will identify the different spheres in your model and then use your model to describe how they interact with each other. You'll need a jar, some soil, some water, and some small plants from outside. You can use weeds and things from the yard. Collect some soil and fill the jar about one third full. I think I filled mine a little too full. Mine is about half full. I didn't leave much space. Plant your small plants, water the plants, and seal the jar while keeping air inside it. Place it in a well-lit area like a sunny window. Then draw a picture and label the spheres. Well, we labeled them right on the jar. Describe how the systems interact. <laughs> Are you the type of student who likes a challenge? If so, then this activity is for you. Choose one of the following examples and create a slide presentation to show and describe how the four spheres interact. That could be fun, but we'll move on. What did I learn? In this lesson, you learned about the different spheres of Earth and how they interact with each other. Earth is an interconnected system that has four main spheres called the geosphere, the hydrosphere, the atmosphere, and the biosphere. The spheres of Earth interact with each other and influence other systems' functions. It is this close interaction between the systems that allows life on Earth. 
And I think this is a vicuna, this animal here. And that's Patagonia down there. Isn't it gorgeous? In the south tip of South America. It's time to show off how much you know. Which of Earth's systems cannot exist without all of the other systems? What is the unusual thing we have on Earth that we haven't found on any other planets yet? Anybody water. Know? Oh, we know we found water on Mars. Uh, I don't know. What? Think about yourself, Hunter. Plants. Oh, Bio humans. Humans. Living things. Well, living things, any living things, biosphere, things that are alive. Yeah, because. Nice yeah. One. That's correct. Next. Which of the Earth's system has a big impact on the weather conditions? Oh, shoot. Geos. Well, wait. Geos I'm, wait. Wait. No, wait. What but, wait. Atmosphere. Dang it. Atmosphere. The hydrosphere with the. Oh. Do you guys think oh, I'm right. right? Oh, with water. I was thinking it's of water. Right. Hydrosphere has a big impact on weather conditions. Let's see the next one. The interaction of this with water and organisms that are no longer living produces soil. What's the, what's the, what makes soil? What part of the spheres is soil? Oh, uh, I forgot. Is it? Or geology. Geology. Yeah, so it is geology. geology. My husband what's said geology in that? college. Keep it up. You got the question right. The interaction of the geosphere with water and no longer living organisms produces soil. The blank protects life on Earth in the biosphere by keeping some of the harmful ultraviolet rays out while allowing other light rays to come to Earth. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. I did it. Sorry? You got it. Good job. I'm not going to restart. I refuse to restart. Here we go, what's my assignment? It's time to show what you know, complete the life, water, air, and land activity sheet, you can do it. You do not have to do this one, this is not due. You don't have to do it, but if you wanna do it, you can have extra credit for doing it. And then tomorrow's assignment 1104 is the one where you're gonna do the quiz at the end. And that's it for science for today, my friends.